Here we have an EJ257 with only 60,000 kilometers. This engine is from a 2018 STI and this STI was nearly stock. It only has another downpipe, a Grimsley intercooler and a mapping. The customer comes here because the engine needs a lot of oil. Check out this fat ring gap failure. Wow, that's for sure one of the biggest ring gap failure I've ever seen. And when you have a ring gap failure like this here, the blow bike goes through the piston down here in this crankshaft housing through this pipe in this inlet and so your engine needs a lot of oil the cylinder head gasket have a damage too you see it here it start leaking and when you look here it is a little bit rusty it looks like that water was sometimes in this area here i hope you can see it yeah it looks every cylinder looks like this and that's of course why the engine is damaged. I think maybe the mapping was wrong. Here you see it too. The leaking of the head cast the start leaking here at the top too. And we will now check the uh, rod bearing, how the rod bearing looks like. Because when you have a damage like this, the engine have to be knocking pretty hard. And I found it a little bit curious that it is on cylinder 2 because um, cylinder 2 is not the hottest cylinder, maybe 3 or 4. And when the engine is knocking so hard, we can see it on the rod bearing. Let's check it. Oh yeah. Yeah, here you can see it pretty good where it starts knocking. When the rod is at the highest position, it gets more pressure here at this top of this bearing, and um, yeah, you have bigger scratches. The other side, the downside, do not have this. So here you can see the engine was knocking pretty hard at cylinder two. Yes. What is pretty good that the cylinder have no cracks here, so we don't need new ones. Perfect. Okay. I think the cylinder is good. These scratches are not so deep. Yeah. This engine got now a close stack. And then when we are ready, it looks like this. This is an Zubi Performance EJ257 Stage 3. And it, of course, the customer smaller pistons. But I don't think that this problem is because these are bad pistons. Because maybe you can remember uh, Bernd with his uh, 2015 RSDI. He has uh, stock pistons and have directly a good mapping from track toys and he drives 300 rounds, something about 100,000 kilometers with this car, 300 rounds at the Nordschleife without any problem. So, I think the problem here was the mapping. And when we are ready with this engine, it gets a new mapping from Track Toys and then it will be fine. I said thank you for watching and bye bye. Ciao.